Father, we lift our hearts to you today, coming in the most humble way in which we know, just to seek your face. Oh God, that you may strengthen your people. I pray, God, that you might give the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the hearts of your precious people. Teach us, God, to be able to love what you love so that we can hate what you hate, God, and be your shining light in this world, God, to demonstrate your love and your mercy and your truth. Oh, God, I speak in the name of Jesus, even, God, on behalf of our people, God, all over the world. Lord Jesus, that your light might shine in God, that you might break our hearts with the things that break your hearts. Oh God, so that we can love what you love. I pray in the name of Jesus, peace over your precious people. God, give us a revival of the restoration of peace. Draw us back to you, God. Turn us back to you, O oh God, and we will be restored. Renew us as of the days of old. I pray, God, that the precious anointing of the Holy Spirit will be stirred in the hearts of your precious people to seek you more, Lord, like we've never sought you before all of the days of our lives. God, that there will be such a deep hunger on the inside of us to witness the change of the Holy Spirit coming into the lives of people in the world. God, our sons and our daughters, husbands and wives, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, cousins, God, that you would restore our families. Turn us back to you, God. Bring us back to a godly foundation where Jesus is the center of our focus, Lord Jesus. We pray, God, that you will just use us for your glory. Stir up your power, Lord, in these days and use us for your glory, God, to do something remarkable. Lord, help us to be shining lights in this world that others, as they see us, that they might be able to witness your love and feel, God, who you are. Thank you, God, for hope and redemption coming into the lives of your precious people. I pray, God, that this will be a season of incredible miracles, signs, and wonders done in the lives of your precious people, God. Send your glory, Lord, to the earth once again. May your glory fill the earth. May your glory fill the earth, God, as we praise you, as we worship you, as we lift our hearts to you. God, show us where we've been wrong. We come in repentance, God. Wash us, cleanse us, forgive us, God. Purify our hearts, Lord, that we might be in right standing with you. Don't let anything stand between us and you, Lord Jesus. Lord, don't let anything be found in us so that it becomes a hindrance or stumbling block to others. But Father, I pray that there will be such an openness in us to be able to be examples of who you have called us to be in the earth. May your power flow through us, Lord Jesus. May you give us words of encouragement for others. Father, may you cause us to stand as, as those who are angels on assignment in our various neighborhoods, in our households, God, in our school districts, Lord Jesus, on our job. May you let our light shine. May your glory fill the earth, O oh Lord Jesus, and turn our hearts back to you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus that absolutely no weapon formed against your precious people will prosper. But in this season and in this year, Lord, that you will renew strength, renew strength, God, to those that have become weary, those that have who've run out of, out of energy, Lord Jesus, and, 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 and are just in a funk. I pray in the name of Jesus for the restoration of joy. Give them, Lord, a baptism in joy once again, that a spirit of joy will rise up and effervesce out of us in a way, God, that brings glory to your majestic name. Touch your people, God, in this season. Use us for the glory of the kingdom of God. Lord, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we will covenant in advance, God, to give you the glory and the praise for everything that is wrought in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen.